The San Diego State's men's basketball team is just one win away from the Mountain West Tournament Final. First, the number one seed Aztecs have to get past five seed Nevada in tonight's semifinal game. Aztecs have won 12 straight and are ranked 19th in the nation, practically assured of a at-large berth in next week's NCAA Tournament. Here to talk more about the Aztecs and what it's been like covering SDSU sports during the pandemic are daily Aztec sports editor Kyle Betts and assistant sports editor Luis Lopez. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us today. First off, big game tonight. Uh, Aztecs had a close call in their last game. What do you see happening tonight? Well, I'll start first. I think it's going to be a close game, and we saw that in the two matches against Nevada earlier this season. Grant Sherfield, he's been a shift maker in, in conference play so far this season, so I expect him to really pay a difference for uh, the Wolfpack here this evening. I really do expect a close game, Luis. Yeah, I, I think the exact same thing. I mean, another game changer on the Wolfpack is Desmond Cambridge. Um, you know, it's March. The games are always going to be close, and what better time to get some drama than tournament time? So I think it's going to be close, but I think we'll see pull off a victory. Yeah, and it's hard to get a gauge of what this tournament's going to be like. I've heard that the Aztecs are looked at as something like a seven team, which seems slanderous based on how they played, but that it's been a different kind of year. Maybe you can talk about that. What, what has it been like? How have you actually covered this Aztecs basketball team during this pandemic season? Well, it's been challenging at times, being virtual. Um, the press conferences have definitely been a change for us, and being at games without seeing the show or any fans in the stands has definitely been the biggest change for me, but we've really had to adapt and adjust, and I think we did a really good job of doing that. Yeah, I was back home for a while, actually, in the Bay Area, so I was watching games from there and then attending all the press conferences and everything, doing the job the same way, just from a much greater distance. So, yeah, it's been a challenge, but, you know, I, I've enjoyed it so far. It's been it's been fun. I, I got to imagine that there's a little bit of a, of a bridge that you can't cross with some of the insights that you would typically get in covering a season, practices, in-person access, pulling players aside. H have you been able to find other ways to get that unique, created content? Yeah, at first, it was a challenge for us when the pandemic first hit because at first we were like, we don't have any games going on. What do we do? So we've really turned to the human aspect side and just really try to feature more athletes and, and their own personal stories from that perspective. Yeah, there's always, you know, a different way to get a story. You know, I at the beginning of the season or before the season even started, I actually I ran into a Guecaro at one of the churches by a campus and I got to talk to him a little bit. So, you know, there's there's different ways you can get access and we just have to find them. And that's, you know, been the challenge of the pandemic. Uh, what's what's next for you guys as far as what you're looking forward to as students at SDSU? I got to ask you guys that it's been a weird year as students. Are you look forward, looking forward to the campus opening up a little more? I know there are tentative discussions to actually have in person graduation this year. Yeah, we were actually both graduating uh, right. this at the end of the semester. So we're really looking forward to uh, in person commencement if that's possible. I think they're still deciding on a few things and still figuring some things out, but that's something we're look, really looking forward to. Yeah, definitely. You know, after everything that's gone on the past year, it'll definitely be nice to have, you know, just a little bit of a sense of normalcy, even if it's not necessarily like a, a graduation ceremony inside Viejas, but, you know, wherever it is, I'll just be happy to do it because, you know, it's a little bit of uh, back to normal and I'll be happy to celebrate. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, you guys got work to do. Hopefully a lot of it with this Aztecs team again, a semifinal with the fifth seed Nevada tonight. Uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. Kyle Betts and Luis Lopez from the Daily Aztec. Thank you so much for spending time. Best of luck in your coverage and the rest of your school year. Thank you so thank much you. for having us. <laughs>